Hello my loves, Sendal here coming at you with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a silk press on short natural hair and I'm going to show you how I cut my own hair so you can cut your own hair. Let's start off with some Olaplex. Make sure you only use a little bit. I can't talk. You only use. <laughs> you only use a little bit because a very very little bit of this Olaplex goes a long way and if you use too much it will make your hair feel a little crunchy so don't do that before we get started the rest of the way make sure you subscribe here to my channel and once you subscribe be sure to click that bell notification so you will be notified every time I post another video also if you haven't saw this video then make sure you check it out where I tell you all about you know the little spot in my hair with my hydronida superativa and the outbreak that I had in my scalp and you know my process of growing it back let's get into it first I'm gonna start off just like I started off with everyone else's video and if you are new to my channel <laughs> you don't know <laughs> how I start off I'm starting off by round brushing my own hair I love using the round brush because the teeth are very 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 close together and it helps me to gain a whole lot of tension you guys tension enough tension for me to get my hair mostly straight before the flat iron even comes around okay okay so in this case um it's been about four to five weeks since the last time i gave myself a trim if i'm not mistaken i'll put the exact date here on the screen don't know i don't <laughs> already know this date but yeah for me i only trim my hair when my hair is straight we'll talk about that a little later but that is my thing and i know you guys are a little worried about heat damage and things of that nature but heat and your flat iron is not the problem the problem is the preparation and if you do not prepare your hair properly before a silk press you will get heat damage because you'll constantly go over the same spot over and over again okay so just get into this blowout and i'll come back when it's closer to the trim and stuff okay okay yes okay are magical creatures we can see what doesn't exist and choose to rise above what is unlike any other humans can feel without having to have actually felt we can share each other's pain or joy one might use such a power to destroy rather than to build up or support. Lately I've been feeling something gonna change in them. Time to take a heat, then I'm on the pain, but I don't gotta go that low. Keeping it, keeping it in control. Take what's mine. mine. 
up in the gold rim Tesla, that's not cheap Everything I do is electric on these streets Walk, walk up in the mall like I'll take one of each uh, It all looks good on me, it's good on me, babe I always choose the priciest shoes And I drape my shoulders in purple rack I never have to try and explain Cause the way I live says everything, everything Say what you wanna say I got expensive taste and it's not a fantasy All of the things I want You should buy it for me Bury me in Gucci Say what you wanna say I got expensive taste and it's not a fantasy All of the things I want For a walk Took a selfie in front of my velvet walls uh. Everything I eat is compliments of chef And my cocktail is top shelf It's top shelf I always choose the priciest shoes And I drape my shoulders in purple rack I never have to try and explain Cause the way I live says everything, everything Say what you wanna say Expensive taste and it's not a fantasy All of the things I want You should buy it for me Bury me in Gucci Say what you wanna say Gucci flavor, I got that Gucci boot, I got that Gucci paper, I got that Gucci on the brain, smoking that Gucci vapor. I want that Gucci now, I want that Gucci later, I want that Gucci hat, I want that Gucci flavor, I got that Gucci boot, I got that Gucci paper, I got that Gucci on the brain, smoking that Gucci vapor. Say what you wanna say. At this point, we are almost done. Remember, all of the products that I use can be found in the description box below. And if you want a more detailed breakdown of everything, make sure you head over to my website. And once you get over there, make sure you subscribe. Why? Because it's free, 99, just like it's free over here. Yeah, okay, do that. So, you guys, it's really, really important that you understand that when you are straightening your hair you are not giving yourself heat damage by putting the flat iron on your hair you're giving yourself heat damage by your hair not being properly prepared so make sure you check out this video here so you can learn everything there is 
that you need to know to give yourself the perfect silk press without giving yourself heat damage because I understand you're so nervous because you grow your hair out and you do all of this work but then you put a flat on on your hair and all of the work that you've done is just like down the drain because now you have these curly pieces and these straight pieces so you have to start it all over I completely understand you guys but there is a science to this and understand that you holding on to ends that need to go is what is making it so you cannot hold on to length that's what's killing your length retention think about it like this at the beginning of your work day if you have a small little hole like where your ankle is right by the end of the day that hole has went from a small little itty bitty little dot to a long run all the way up your thigh that is the same exact thing that is happening in your hair in your hair <laughs> in your head when you hold on to ends that are broken it's normal it's just like maintenance on your car you're going and getting your brakes tuned up and all of that stuff like you're getting a car wash you're getting your car detailed on the schedule you have to do maintenance on your hair and it's the same thing for your ends understand that there is always hair growing out of your follicle just because you're a black woman does not mean that your hair is growing slower no the only difference between curly hair and straight hair is curly hair has more proteins attached to the disulfide bond that is holding the hair together the curlier your hair is the more protein you have in your hair and what is our favorite saying to much is given much is required you guys so if you have curly curly hair it's because you have a lot of protein attached to the disulfide bond that is holding your hair together so you're gonna have to put in more effort just like I'm putting in more effort to eat this popcorn and you're not gonna judge me because I was hungry okay okay yes okay and I don't know if I said it already but if you haven't saw the video um, from my hydronitis super Tiva spot make sure you check it out link in the description box below as I'm eating this popcorn but like I said you guys make sure you check the playlist that I'm going to leave in the description box yes because in that playlist you can watch my entire growth journey down from when I first had my hair like bleach blonde and relaxed to me growing it out to me cutting the relaxer off all of it you can watch it here in real time on my channel and see how easy it is to go from relaxed hair to bleached <laughs> blonde hair back to natural hair and to grow your hair out it's easy you guys it really really is but we have to stop being afraid to trim our ends I'm just being real with you guys if you walk into other salons they do not have a problem trimming our ends we're just keeping it 100 other races of women do not mind getting trims on a regular regimen I used to I've always worked at Sola salons and they were not predominantly african-american let's be real and their clients would come in with wet hair just for a trim and then leave back out with wet hair on a regimen you will see them on a regular basis your trims are that important It's not that genetically we can't grow long hair but mentally we're too afraid to do the type of maintenance that we need to do on our hair because in our minds and I'm not trying to be disrespectful you guys in our minds we think that our hair is like our ovaries and if you know about your ovaries you only get one set and once, <laughs> once that's said, it's like the air is going to be old right along with you, sugar foot. Your hair isn't like that. Your hair is constantly growing, but if you don't do the proper maintenance, it will not retain the length that you gain it is just as simple as that you guys we are not like weird unicorns from another planet no to much is given much is required and you have a lot of protein in your hair remember i'm gonna say it again the only difference between straight hair and curly hair is the amount of protein attached to the disulfide bond that is holding your hair together okay so the more proteins you have attached to to the bonds that are holding your hair together the curlier it is 
And the more you lack those proteins, the straighter your hair is, you guys. So we just have to put more time in, more effort. It's just as simple as that. Yes, other races and other people can just wash their hair and walk out of the house and go. Well, guess what? They don't have as much protein attached to the bonds that are holding their hair together as you do. So you cannot do that. We have to find a regimen. We have to learn our porosity make sure you check this video here so you can learn your own porosity literally it will take you seconds okay like seconds not even a full minute to learn your porosity and then make your product selection and things of that nature based upon that okay your hair will still grow you can still retain length if you have a trim the reason that we are on this wild goose chase trying to figure out how to grow our hair is because we are missing the most important part we are yes doing a whole lot of things to our hair to grow it out but then we're hoarding our ends you guys and we have to stop doing that you have to do maintenance on your hair once again maintenance on your hair the trim is the same thing as maintenance on your car and anything else you guys all right so i'm not styling my hair um to have it styled i literally just did this so i can trim my ends but i still wanted it to look some type of something for y'all um this is the following morning after i got out of the shower i did not have a shower cap on and i kind of sweat in my head at night so at this length i do not wear my hair in a silk press because to expect it to stay bone straight is like no and this is where heat damage comes in because you you will get up and your hair isn't straight enough and you either talking about your stylist or you mad at yourself and then you get up and you get a flat iron and you begin to flat iron those pieces that you feel like are not straight enough that is where heat damage comes in because I know what I'm doing I just straightened that piece and I was okay but a lot of people don't know what they're doing and then you get up and you start putting heat there I have been doing hair for 13 years you guys and my hair will still revert back to it is science once there's water in any way shape or form once it gets on the hair the hair reverts back okay so as you can see right here my curls popped right back you guys do not worry about it just don't worry about it honey sugar foot you can do whatever you want to do with your hair as long as you know the proper procedures to take to avoid having damage okay so make sure if you like this video you do everything you say on the screen bye girl bye boy bye y'all